Okay, everyone. So, as you can see from the title, I have got some super cool goodies to show you. Now, as you know, if you've been following me for a wee while, I am on the design team. I'm so lucky to be on this design team, guys, for Crafty Individuals. Absolutely adore everything they do. They are, in my opinion, the company that does vintage the best. Their stamps are just ugh, gorgeous. Now, you might be thinking, Sam, you're on the design team, you're going to say that. But seriously, guys, honestly, you know me. I would never come on and say I didn't like I liked something if I didn't. If I thought that um, it wasn't good quality, I would just say, look, I don't really want to be on the design team anymore. Thanks so much, but no thanks. This The, the quality is amazing. The designs are amazing. You can tell I'm really enthusiastic about this company. I could rant about them all day. Their products are beautiful. Second, to, Honestly, they're second to none for their vintage. Right, I'm going to stop ranting because I really could rant on about that all day. Now, what we got this month, okay. Now, you may have seen these on Hachanda. They were on, um, was it the 2nd? I think they were on the 2nd of June. So, what I'm going to do is I will link Crafty Individuals down below, guys. You can go directly to their site and have a look. There is beautiful paper pads and stamps, you name it. Go and have a look because you will be blown away. Um... And then you can also have a look on Hachanda as well, okay? So, what I'm going to do then, first of all, let's show you what we bought this month. Now, first one is this one. Now, I've not got the sheet for it because, obviously, when these were sent out, these were brand spanking new, okay? This one is my favourite this month. And I'm going to show you. I don't have my cards. I sent them off um, as my design team you know to make them to send them off now what i will do as well is i'm going to link down crafty individuals blog if you haven't checked that out go over and check that out guys it's fantastic there's a lot of inspiration over there you'll see different um design team projects you can speak to gene over there um it's just a really nice place it's a nice community and also i know that there is a crafty individuals facebook group now now i'm not on facebook um but go over and have a look amazing inspiration i know that obviously because i've not got facebook um i still get the emails and things through from the from the guys from the design team and things and from jean about everything that's happening and the facebook group is super exciting so if you're on facebook crafty individuals go over join the group and join in the fun so this is the first one okay so if you can see here i know sometimes it's a bit difficult to see it like on the actual stamp so i've stamped them out okay but look, it's the VW. I love this. I want one of these. I actually have always wanted one of these. They're just, I'd love to have one and just go on my holidays. Get one that maybe even needed some work doing to it. They're just cracking. Absolutely cracking. Sorry, guys. So, look. And this is simply stamped and got some red pen. And that's it. I done ones where I embossed them, um, cut them out, fussy cut them, layered them. There is so much you can do with this, guys. Um, I just think you could make it really happy, like happy up 1960s. And with the the stamps that we released um, last month, that Crafty Individuals released last month, if you've seen that, um, check out my video for last month. It was all that, let me give you just a wee quick look. Let me find them. Here. so it was all these ones okay that we got and it was like the background ones look all the i'm not going to go through them all again but you can have a look back i've got my crafty individuals playlist that you can have a look in and so you can make this as retro really retro with this which i thought was just really cool and it just it just goes perfectly so that was the first one okay really happy that was my favorite this month i loved that one then there was this one which was really really funky now it was a lady called sharon 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 what was sharon's second name i'm sorry my lovely let me think is it on it i'm trying to see if it's on any of these ones because i've not got the wee cards for them i can't remember i know it's definitely sharon but if you go on the site you'll be able to see it anyway but this one she designed and look how funky this is now again i know it's really difficult to really see but look at the size of this stamp massive stamp quality red rubber and then on the foam just really really good quality now you didn't really see everything until you stamp it out look at the detail look at that it's got look at this it's got the map 
in the background. The actual birds have got the right in, in the wings. Look at these long legs, so they're really funky. And then look, they've got like a library card or a diary in the background. And this is what I'm saying about crafty individuals. The, the actual stamps, every stamp they bring out, the detail is just unbelievable. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So, I mean, you can cut these out, you can decoupage them. There was one sample that I seen on the show that was super cool. They had one of the birds standing on top of the, the van, which is just a cool idea. So, a lot you can do with them. So, there was that one. And then, oh, wait till you see this one, guys. I think, I think this one is going to appeal to so many people. If you love vintage, you're absolutely going to love this. And this is a prime example of what crafty individuals do the best. Look now, I know you're probably thinking, Sam, I can't really see that. But I'm just wanting to show you the size. It is massive. Again, on the quality red rubber. Look at this. Now, I have stamped this out. And it's the Singer. Look. The Singer sewing machine. So it's like the advert for sale on Easy Terms. Look, on Easy Terms. Sorry, I'm squeaking, guys, but I just love these. And then, look at this, curtains for the window. So it's like a mat, it's like the old sort of advertising. And then it's got like a book page or a magazine. And the more you look at it, the more you see, look, you've got these bits here. Even down the side, there's wee measuring. I just, look, five eighths. And then you've got like a measuring tape. It's just cracking. And then you can actually cut out. And the actual singer itself, the more you look at that as well, you'll see all the detail inside the actual singer. And again, cut that out. You can fussy cut it. I've just done it in these colours to highlight it because I thought that it's, it's just, I just love this. And again, every, every time you look at it, and even here, you see different bits. They definitely, for me personally, in my opinion, guys, if we love detail stamps that you look at and then you keep seeing something else and something else and again i keep saying it but like vintage even this is modern with a bit with a vintage touch collage and they just they do it fantastic it's just amazing i could honestly keep going on about it but i just i love it and i feel lucky i feel lucky to be on this design team now this one i really liked because to me I could now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I absolutely love doing Alice in Wonderland. All right? I just love it. I love anything to do with Alice in Wonderland. To me, this has got the teacups. So you could use this as a journaling card, okay, for the Alice in Wonderland journals. But it's also got the vintage as well. Fantastic size. Really good size. Now, let me just actually grab my ruler. And I'll tell you quickly, just to give you a... So it's like three and three quarters by almost four and three quarters so it's a huge stamp and look at the quality and the thickness and they stamp out perfectly so look this is like the it's like an old receipt the victoria tea company december now look at this look at that it's even the finest writing that you can see there has actually been you can st it's how did they get that in a stamp look at that tiny cash paid january and then again you've got the teacup so to me you can cut these out you can use them for alice in wonderland you can really vintage them up you can decoupage them it just looks like an actual old-fashioned receipt i just love it can you tell <laughs> can you tell i love it i love it absolutely gorgeous so that was that one and then they always put in um another couple of stamp sets that were previously available to match them in so what they've done this month now i do have the wee cards for this one and I've cut them all out. Okay, so let me just take the card out to stop the shine. So we've got this one here. Look. And there it is. Craftyindividuals.co.uk I know a lot of you guys collect their stamps, but look at this. T at three. It's your birthday. A little bird told me. Just saying hello. T o'clock. And T for two. Just me and you. And do you know what I really like about this? See that tiny wee stamp there? The wee crown. That wee crown you can put on the top of the bird on their head. So I have stamped these out. I've coloured it in a wee bit. I was playing about with my pens earlier. I've done these in really bright colours because I thought again this could be used for Alice in Wonderland because it's the tea set, okay? Or do it really vintage or do it pastel, decoupage up the bird, absolutely whatever you want. If you can see the detail in the actual teapot. Now I'm not going to go through all the stamps guys because like I said it's difficult to see them on camera. It's better me showing you them stamped out but look how many you get in that packet. I've, that's actually some masks that I've been using. 
um, I made. So you get the little button packet. Now look at the writing on that. How fine that is. The snowdrop two hole covered button. And look how tiny that is. Made in England. Just beautiful. And then you get your teapot with your bird. You get the beautiful stacked cups. And look. I know I've stamped that. That should be on its head. But you can get the idea. So you get the wee crown. And you can actually put it on the bird's head. I thought that was genius. Beautiful flower. And if you notice... That's actually, that's not a mistake. That's actually part of the wee, that's how fine these stamps are. You even get the wee bit, you stamp at the flower, look at the detail in that. Just gorgeous. Then you've got all your sayings that I said, you even get the little um, tape measure. And then look, if you guys can see that actually says singer on it, you get your beautiful buttons. That one's got a flower on it, look at that. Look at, the, can you see the pattern on that? And then you've got your thimble, which is, that looks, I mean, if you emboss that in silver, you can actually see the engraving on that thimble that's just amazing. And then that one, superb silk, sorry, I'm trying to read that through the darning, through the camera, darning. And then you've got this wee one here. Look, the wee elephant, elephant brand, holes, nickel plated, and then your scissors. Again, look at the detail. And even look, the safety pin. You can see why I'm squeaking, guys. You can see why I love them so much. I mean, really, it's just, to me, I think stamping's just one of the things that, when you look at something like that, you think, mm-hmm, it looks good. And when you stamp it, it's like, it just transforms it. And then the last one that you get, so that was that set and all. So that set, okay, and the board set, you get this one, this one, the crown, this one, the flower, and you've got all your sayings, and then all of these ones, so your sewing theme, are part of this one. So let me just show you the wee card here. We'll take this out. You can see it better without the glare. And these are all the stamps. Do you see what I mean? Like, all the... Look at that thimble. And the buttons. And look at the flower button. I just... I'm in love with these. Absolutely in love with them. And this is my favourite. Look at that. Look at that. Look, it's got the tiny sewing machine, it's got the singer. Look how tiny these letters are. Oh, guys, I'm like a broken record, but that is just, to me, absolutely beautiful. And I have stamped that one out. I've not totally cut it out, but look at the detail. Look how clear that stamps it. It is like an actual vintage wee receipt. It's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Get your vintage inks in there. Get your distress ink, your tea dye. Vintage that up and make it look really old. Put it on your coffee dyed paper. And it looks like an actual receipt that you've kept for like 1921. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, just, I love them guys. Let me know what you think of the new releases. Let me know if you watched the show. Like I said, I will link the um website down below. And I will, oops, sorry guys. And I will, um... Also link the blog. Go over and check that out. And yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've bought any of these, if you've made anything with them yet, if you're a big follower of Crafty Individuals. Thank you so much again to Jean and Malcolm and all the amazing design team members. I love all the guys. And just, I get so inspired from it. And yeah, I'm super excited, as you can tell. So I'm going to sit down now before I, <laughs> before I pass out with no breathing. But really, in all seriousness, guys, if you love quality stamps, you love nice, good quality designs, vintage mixed with a bit of modern like your gorgeous bark i think that one's going to be really 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 popular um you're going to absolutely love these hit me a big thumbs up and i will see you all again soon Bye bye